Hey, folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome, welcome, welcome to our bonus Friday stream, because apparently we're playing Millennia all week long. I suspect we'll be wrapping it up tomorrow. We are going to try to play, I think, fairly quickly today, but I don't think it'll finish today because we're still looking to explore more things. Again, we've had two opportunities to win the game so far, but we want to continue it to go to the late game. We did a poll to see all that. Uh, hey, Kesem. Uh, not able to stay for the stream today, but start playing the game and learn you can control right click and attack and have the attacker stay in place even after they win. What? How did you know that? Does it say it in a, a tooltip at some point? That's huge. Because you don't always want to enter the square that you're attacking into, especially if your units are, say, in a city. Okay, we're going to have to test that for sure. Thank you very much for that, Kesem. Yeah, sorry you can't stick around, but uh, hope you can catch the VOD and hope it'll be fun. Just realized my camera's set a little on the low side, so let's bring that. It's cutting off the top of my head. Do, 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 do. Are you a millennial? I am not a millennial. Just slightly out of range. I am the the ignored generation, the Gen X. Da, 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 da. Glad it was worthwhile. I think I saw on the keybinds. Oh, interesting. Somewhere in the controls. Control right click. Attack without advancing. So yeah, it's right click to move slash attack. But control right click will attack without advancing. Um, you know, if only we if only we knew how to read, maybe there'd be a bunch of useful information for us in here. <clears throat> okay to skip a turn is actually useful. Alright, NG to guard. Okay, so at the end of the last stream. We entered a new age. We entered the age of enlightenment. I believe that's where we cut it right then. We have to pick a technology to research. We also have to pick a new national spirit over here uh, to go through. Now with these, some, spirit, some spirits are gonna be stronger than others, especially situationally stronger than others. You know, in this game, this is what I want. In this game, this is what I want. The other thing we also have to keep in mind is the type of experience point that it consumes to level up. Currently we're making about samesies amount of experience and everything other than arts. We are generating more art 6B because we were focusing on that a lot in the last age. Um, diplomacy, we're making 19. Engineering, we're making 15. Warfare, a little lower at 12. Exploration, I think was like 11 or 12. And I was like, you know, I can put out a few more docks. Um, and in fact, we can put out some more over here too. Working the docks gives XP. Now, the docks aren't necessarily the best tiles to work all the time. The harbor here, sorry, we're in the upgraded version. It gives two wealth by itself. If you work it, it gives three more wealth and one exploration XP. Uh, so I did build a few um, around New York and things like that to uh, to help do that. Um, yeah, so everything's kind of the same. Again, arts generating more. If we were to look down and look at what the arts national spirit is and if it entices us, it's great masters over here. And I'm not sure. All right, so spawn a master artist. Great stunning masterpieces, that's cool. Uh, we get lots of wealth from artwork and masterpieces. Uh, we get luxuries from those same things as well. Um, target a capital city increases population by two is kind of cool, although we're spending arts point doing that, that we might do it on the um, uh, the spirit. It does unlock an, a conservatory building, which is actually kind of badass because it generates one art XP and five culture. That's a lot. Any idea how this will run in order PC? I don't know, Czar. I know the uh, the gameplay between turns seems to slow down a little bit in the end game, so I don't know what that would be like. And you know, what is older PC? And sorry, I really don't know. I mean, I guess you just look at the system requirements and see. I don't. I'm not sure. Uh, public exhibition to reduce unrest. You know, we're managing unrest perfectly fine. This is a power we can use. Boost regional efficiency of all regions um, for four turns. So this replaces local reforms. Oh. So local reforms boost the efficiency of one, one region, one of our cities for five turns, I think. This will do all of them for four turns. That's, that's pretty strong. But I don't know if I'm, I'm really uh, going over there. I don't know about colonialism stuff. Uh, for us in this game. I do like the ability that any unit can pop an outpost. We don't need to go and make pioneers for it. That's kind of cool. Uh, Sultans over here seems to be a lot about building the new palace and then boosting the heck out of it. This feels like it's a fairly decent, like, tall-focused pick. 
Inventors, the concept of inventors sounds really good. Um, we can create inventors laboratory improvements that give us um, more knowledge, uh, a one-time boost to knowledge innovation specialist, more innovation, more innovation. Well, we get a little bit of innovation from all of these picks, no matter what. It's kind of like the Raiders one where we get it from everything. Universities give us more engineering XP, so it's a little self-sustaining. That's pretty good. The only thing that might be slightly against it is I think we value engineering XP fairly highly right now. And so it might hurt a little bit to use it to develop a national spirit, but this is really cool. This is not Secret Dracula, right? Exactly. I don't think any of the um, I don't think any of the warfare things are really appealing right now because we're not really fighting currently, right? We've we've done our conquering. Now I think we're in the end game phase. We do have scholars over here, which will give us the great library building, more education from books, uh, translator, which is an improvement. If we get foreign manuscripts, we can do some things. Uh, more knowledge from the Eureka Power. Scholarly Society is a building that gives us a crap ton more education and generates books, which is really nice. So education doesn't do anything by itself. Education is a need that is consumed by buildings like universities and things like that. They consume education and produce knowledge. Um, normally the way you make education is by building the public school improvement. So this could give us a way to do it. This buffs the Great Library some more. <coughs> uh, this gives us a power to generate knowledge. I feel like, given who we are and what we dig, I feel like Scholars and Inventors is kind of the vibe we might be looking for. We make about the same amount of XP in both. Again, I'm, we might value the exploration powers a little less, and the engineering ones might be valued a little more, so maybe we'd rather spend on exploration than engineering. On the other hand, I think we do have more ability to generate engineering points than uh, exploration points. Uh, you're right, we don't have any any social fabric in Insight, the exploration one over here. So first thing, if we did finish Scholars, it would give us one of those. On the other hand, if we're not consuming exploration points going through this idea, we can also just do the thing where we spend 300 points to boost it up by one. So I think it's probably six and one half dozen uh, there. Gloomy Moron, no, you didn't miss anything. We just started. We just started. So I think these are... I think our, these are both strong and might just be a coin flip in our situation. They're cool in different ways. We get some free power over here. Very innovation driven. You know, I might go scholars. Ah. Pastures and docks should give, pastures don't give exploration XP. Our docks do though, and we can put out more of them. In fact, even in Parduk, we might even replace some of the fishing boats. Because ideally, the fishing boats would probably be put on the tunas. So we could replace this with another dock and build a few more. Scholars seem solid choice. People like the telescope. All right. Telescope it is. Boom. Select. Done. Excellent. Okay. So we've locked in that idea. We do have the points to expand our feudal monarchy. Again, we don't need manorialism. It is quite good, but we don't need it because all of our vassals are basically capped on the prosperity. So we don't have to worry about extending there. We could use government XP to spawn a settler. That's one possibility. Um, I don't know if we're saving our government XP for anything else. Oh, yeah. I was thinking we might go and integrate another city. We know our culture rate is actually stupendous right now, so we can definitely afford to take a hit on culture upkeep by integrating another city. We need a hundred and change points. I think I think the cost is the same. 127, I think it doesn't matter which city it is. It's all the same. Ulundi is tempting because it is our largest of our vassals currently, but it's hardly the only option, especially if we need more exploration XP, we might be looking for something that's a little bit more coastal that we can take on so that we can build more docks. Um, no, Topeka's already one of ours. Um, maybe, you know, just for symmetry, we pick up old, new, old York over here. It's not very populous yet, although we can probably make it grow pretty quickly once we take control over it. It's certainly not gonna be hurting for food. We just have to go and supply it with other needs. But I think saving up points to do an integration is probably the way to do it right now. So I think that's where I'm at. Otherwise, I don't think we need to spend anything else. Oh, ranches, the pasture upgrades to give exploration XP. Thank you very much. Um, oh, can we restart this expo exploration? Okay, so failing the exploration kills that one conquistador, but doesn't actually um, consume this unit, although he is currently in a crap ton of trouble. I'm actually thinking, can we move this boat back here and spawn? No, I need moves for this. Okay, he might not get one-shotted though. I'm just gonna have you wait one turn. And as for you, I mean, we could even spawn a pioneer that does technically have a little bit of strength, but I don't think that's worth doing. So 
I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna spend on the expedition right now. I'm just gonna have you guard for the moment. And then we'll reinforce you by spawning some more um, conquistadors. Since we're the US, maybe have a burger ideology if you can name them. Well, yeah, we can't name the ideology, or you're, you're talking about the national spirits? Oh, the ideologies, when we get those, the factions. I don't know if we can rename those. That's a good question, because I think we just pick from uh, Democratic, Communist, Fascist? Is, is that it? Which is very, I want to say Civ 5? I don't know. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll have to see what that is when they shake out. Meanwhile, we do have a conquistador over here who's going to explore the Amazon forest. We're fine on that. We've got a little bit of points banked so that we can deal with whatever events come up. Three or four, deep in the rainforest, expedition encounters the isolated tribe. Communication proves challenging. Um, that's okay. We can pay 30 XP to sneak around them. Everything else decreases their success chance, so we'll go ahead and do that. But again, that is slowing down our, our national spirits, but I guess that's going to have to be okay. This army's probably just chillaxing over here. And then we do have to choose the technology. So is one of these the upgrade to the ranch? Oh yeah, and I'll use the little eyeball thing over here. Uh, creates merchant. The fa oh yeah, we looked at these last time and I don't know where we wanna go. Is Or is it possible that the upgrade to the ranch is left behind over here or might even be something from another age? I don't think it's gonna be under broke. It's not under auto machina because these were just new unit types. Um, and it's not under deference. Although maybe I should pick deference just so we can get the innovation if we do the other city of gold. Um, arts and culture building, diplomacy, government, culture building. I mean, there's nothing wrong with those buildings at all. On the other hand. You get the bakery, which is a super food building. We'll check. Do I? Okay. Do I already have the ranch? We'll check. Oh, uh, we want society. We want to unlock um, some public school stuff and things like that. Um, I mean, is that already what I'm building these places with these ranches? I got to find a. Not you. Oh. Yeah. Why didn't I see this when I did when I? Sh hey. Unless I don't can only tell you what you can do this turn. Does that do anything? Did it just queue this up? This is contextual. It's a build helper for this region. Oh, so this doesn't show you everything that exists that can give you exploration XP that you have currently unlocked. It shows you everything that you can do in this city right now, in Nico right now. Because I was gonna say, hey, how come it isn't showing me the uh, the harbor or the dock or whatever it's called? And it's also not showing me the ranch here because we already have it. Shit, that's even smarter than I thought it was. And yeah, why not build more skull towers, right? Okay, we had set a reminder to spawn a settler. I think I'm okay with that. Right, we're talking about what to save up for. I don't think I need to save it up for anything here. Well, no, that's not true. Because we probably want this higher end shit because it's pretty strong. On the other hand, the settler does have a big cooldown and we've been ignoring it for a little while because we've been prioritizing some of the government shit. You know what? Let's spawn a settler and stick it way up here. There's tons of good ter uh, terrain up here that we're not taking advantage of yet. Um, I mean, we could do something with just some outposts out here too. Oh. We did actually send a guy out here to do outpost stuff. And we could redirect him. I could redirect him to, like, here. He'd still be able to build some fish to send somewhere. But a city here might be a better pick. I think I've convinced myself that that's what I want to do. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and... All right, it's got to be in an actual city proper. Um, You have an envoy here. Oh, we can send you overseas. Let's do that. I'm going to take this whole group... And probably if I'm going to settle, it might be here. And that might be better for expansion, although we could settle on the frozen wasteland, presumably. I don't know. I'll send you over in this direction. That's going to be fine. I'm going to send you over there. I got a reminder that I want to build a trade post. Yeah, we'll get back to you. Boom, boom, boom. Loving the game so far, nearing the end of your first run, Korax. Yeah, so far, I'm really enjoying it. Again, I didn't enjoy it the first time I played through it. it didn't It didn't really click. 
I don't have enough XP to drop this. Still, you seem to have done a pretty good job. Do you have a bonus against anything here? A bonus against range. Oh, we have the bonus against barbarians. That's why you're kicking so much ass. Okay, yeah, 100% wind chance over here. And then might get attacked by that. Okay, hold on. Just, yeah, move out over here. 2.5 times extra damage versus barbarians because it's one of the things we picked somewhere along the way. So good. All right. And then, yeah, we get a million improvement points. We're making 108 improvement points per turn right now, which is just crazy good. And that number is just going to go up. Um, Belfast. Well, tell you what, Belfast, if we can take a look over here and look at Exploration XP, you need a Skull Tower! Wait, it's got a check mark. So Belfast already has one. So it still shows you buildings you've already built. Okay, I think it also, it shows the, uh, the construction cost if you haven't built it. I think that's what we were noticing. Like if I go into another category here. Um, yeah, see, Privy Council and Large Pizza Parlor has a check mark. The Medieval uni University has a construction cost. So it still shows you the building. Okay, fair. It doesn't show you the improvements if they're not available. Again, okay, fair. So Belfast, I don't know, if, I don't think we need to grind more improvement points over here. Um, I think the Umidigville University is good. We're also talking about setting up more trade and stuff like that. Um, oh, I can build this museum. This will generate education for us, which can then be consumed by another building. Currently, we don't need it. I think I'll... I may as well just make the Medieval University. Uh, you know, tech's pretty good. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. This place doesn't need a pizza parlor. No, I think it's already got one. Large pizza parlor. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, who are you? Oh, you're the envoy. Yeah, we're going to send you... Maybe not there. We can get you just, like, wait a couple of turns. Just, uh... Just sit there for now. It's going to be fine. Conquistador. Do conquistador things. There we go. Complete this for exploration XP. Lovely. Sometimes we get engineering for this. I mean, it, maybe it's random. Maybe you can get whatever, but I'm really happy about the exploration XP this time. Well, now that we succeeded it. And I probably want to spend it on something here immediately. We could save it up for the second tier. If one of the things here gave us exploration XP, I might do it, but I might not. Um, okay, Great Library gives us knowledge for every allied or open-bordered nation. So, I was going to say, maybe we need to do alliances, but we've got open borders with everyone. So that's going to be a pretty good building for us. All right, let's unlock the Great Library. Oh, I just remembered something else I was going to do um, at the start of the stream here. Oh, Nico, I changed your uh, your production by clicking on the little UI there, which I hadn't meant to do. You're working in the Colossus. We have enough money to rush by the Colossus, so I'm going to do that. Culture, Warfare XP, 10 more production, Nico. Blam. And then you can go and build your Skull Tower for the Exploration XP. That's going to be fine and groovy. I may as well spend... Oh, it's Exploration XP, but I may as well upgrade you to a better ship here so you don't die. How do you feel about resource scaling through the game? I, mostly, I think, I think I've been pretty happy with it. I like that you keep improving the improvements. They're not just static. You know, like if you talk about Civ... Oh yeah, and we've got these freaking under deep water sites. You talk about Civ, right? Which obviously I love civilization, but you build a farm in 6000 BC and it just sits there for the rest of the game. Some of the technologies will sometimes give it an extra plus one food or whatever, but you're not actively changing and, and going through different stages of improvements. I find it very satisfying to go and hit the upgrade buttons over here, you know? Um, we do have a few reminders and a few things. Again, I one thing with the improvements, I do kind of wish the reminders you could set them for an actual physical location, which we don't currently do. Uh, we did have a reminder set for a trading post, so presumably one of these sites has something unpacked. Yep. Oh, that's just a reminder for it, but yeah, you're there, you've got monasteries. Uh, was this this one? That's that one. Got another one sending things through Belfast. That's set up. And this outpost for Parduk. Oh, there we go. Trading post there. That was probably my reminder one. Good. Because those are all set. Excellent. Okay. Parduke, speaking of, needs aren't being met very well right now, partially due to a lack of religion. Okay, this user interface, I can't believe it took me into, it was like two days ago or something like that, we noticed it. This is so handy, and I wish it had been there before. 
So we can build religious scribes improvements, although for that we need to have paper, which I don't think Parduk has. You have the ability to build a holy site building and we might, okay, it's under construction. I'm gonna rush it. You're still behind on religion. Um, Parduk, do you have an outpost sending things to you? You do, but this one doesn't have any hills, so it doesn't have any monasteries. Now, the need for religion is apparently going to go down. That might be a good spot, though, right over here next to this outpost. The need for religion is going to be going down in this era, but it hasn't yet. I'm going to spend my engineering points to spawn a pioneer. Oh, we can spawn it here. That's cool. We'll just move over here, and we're going to build that. We send, we're going to build monasteries in these two hills and send them over to Parduk. Spain and Persia at war. Reminder harbors. Yes, I do want to build some. Um, there, and actually, I think I want to replace these fishing boats with another harbor. So anywhere along the coast, you can't build uh, harbors at sea, like deep here. This is the only you can build a fishing boat, but here on the coast, you can. Now, again, in general, I'm not going to value the harbors that much, but the exploration XP generation is going to be really nice for now. We've got ourselves a culture moment. Um, our innovation is good, so I think what we're probably going to do is use the local reforms on New York here. Unless it's already running, but I think it was going to time out. Oh, it is actually still running here. For science, what happens if we local reform here again? Does it just replace? Does the time stack? Do both functions stack and overlap for one turn? Let's do a save and find out. I suspect it's just going to replace it, and therefore we won't want to do it here because we're effectively losing a turn of local reforms. Yeah, it just replaced it, so we lost it. So we don't want that. That's what was expected, and that's a per perfectly fine way for it to work. <clears throat> oh, don't need hills anymore. You can build abbeys on flat. Have we unlocked abbeys? Let's go. Well, not clearly not yet. So abbeys must be something available to us over here somewhere. It's not under reason, is it? I guess if it's in this age, it'll be in the infopedia, even if we haven't researched it yet. Uh, it's not a building, it's an improvement, right? Abbey. Oh, can I build abbeys? I can build abbeys in our towns. That's what it is. Or is it? Oh, abbeys on a cap castle outpost. Okay, hold on. Thank you. So one of these was castled. I think this one here is castled. There it is. Oh, and you're right. And the castle towns as well, which is a crap ton of it was culture, which is pretty good. And gathers farming. But yeah, abbeys is what we want. Okay, so Harduk was the one with the religious need, right? So if we go, uh, do I have the engineering speed? I do not. Okay. So we'll have to wait. And there's only one. Actually, there's no flat tile over here. Although it gives us a lot more flexibility about where we build with our pioneer. Actually, maybe we should build here. So I could still build one monastery, and then when we castle things, then I can go and abbey around it. North of Harduk, build desert abbeys. I just realized we used, um, oh, diplomacy. Yeah, we're gonna trigger tolerance here. I just realized we used my engineering points here and spent more for the pioneer rather than doing it from our conquistador, but. All right, uh, don't promote to leader for this. Actually, maybe the thing to do is to go and blow up this barbarian encampment. Okay, it'd be a draw. Let me guard so you heal up. When you get fully healed, we'll send you out. Oh, I do have this pioneer here. You know what? Yeah, I like the idea. Ooh, maybe not. Maybe not that close to Parduk. I don't know where you went. Well, I think it's this guy. Yeah, so he just went and joined us in the army. We've, we've seen this issue before. We don't want to have happen, so there you go. Let's explicitly do this. And then you are going to come... Right here. 
I mean, actually, am I going to put a town over here? I might. All right, just come in this direction and we'll figure out what you're doing next. So you finish this. Let's go and do an expedition at the Sahara Desert. And here... Yeah, if I move over, we'll get less overlap with this. I don't know if the castle can have any improvements where there's um, jungle. We could do a clearing. Of course, that just costs us more engineering XP. Now, we might end up with plenty to spare later. Who the hell are you? Oh, well, and I do have an excess. I think I actually was going to build that outpost there. Collect all these resources, actually. I moved it in the desert or right over here. These three towns, I'm not going to be vassalizing. Actually, this little spot here might be a perfect place for an outpost. Could you, could you leave, Mr. Barbarian? I guess this is what I get for not building up ships. Uh, all right, Parduk has a bunch of population and a bunch of unimproved tiles. We should really do something with that, just dump our, our points. You do have a lot of meat. Now, some of that is coming from these hunting camps on Scrublands that we're probably going to replace. But this, this, that's going to stay. Yeah, this can probably go. Right now, your food needs actually basically fully met. You need a little sanitation. Okay, I think what we're going to do is... I, I want to leave the green spots just in case we want to do um, more clay pits. So I'm going to destroy this. I'm going to go and build a kitchen to turn the meat into more food, bring us to 200%, which is great. I'm going to get rid of this hunting camp. We're still at 200% food meat met, which is great. Uh, I'm going to slap down a trash heap to fulfill that. We're going to remove this over here, still 200%, good. And then here for the civic stuff, we're going to put down... I might put down a villa. You actually could use a little bit more luxury. I mean, we might get luxury from other things as well. Eh, but let's do it. All right, so you are still missing your religion, but we're working on that now. And then I can just uh, drop some more harbors in general, because that's what we're going to be looking for. How's our exploration XP per turn now? 19.5. Okay, certainly a lot better. I think when I load up the save as 11, then I put down a couple of things. We were 15 when we started. Mm -hmm. Rip AI built improvements, yeah. But, I mean, we, we also rip a part of a lot of our own, too. So... Move any unit. Oh, they're just goody huts. Oh! Well, let's take the improvement points because the money is not meaningful for us. We'll take the exploration XP because that's what we're looking for here. More exploration XP. Thank you. Okay, this is turning out to be handy. Cultural power. Uh, oh, right. That, that's right. We reverted the save. So instead of New York, Parduk is our next biggest city. Although it it's not fully developed, but you know what? I'll go ahead and local reforms it anyway. France and Brazil are not at war. We're going to have to make sure to pop out a recon balloons at some point. Also, Pardu can build um, some ships. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go and get ourselves a little fleet to go and boop those barbarians that are buzzing around and being annoying. Meanwhile, is that not Pardu? Oh, that was New York. Okay, fine. Uh, we could do the same thing here, but since we're starting at New York, yeah, and this, your, our production isn't as good. I was going to say, wow, it's, it builds it so fast. Let's get our civil engineering down. Well, we don't really need the extra improvement points, but that is a lot of production. And this, Pardu can clearly use a little bit of a boost, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, do we have enough? Ex we do have enough for maybe something. Um, you've got bricks. you got one wood. We're going to do anything. We could do wool, but that is just going to be more money. We don't need more food. All right, Harduk. I'm wondering about another trio of clay pits and two more um, brickworks. Because again, it doesn't really, it doesn't have any tiles that it can work for, for heavy duty production. You know, no hills, no forests. So I think that's probably what we're gonna do. Here, I'll give myself a reminder for next turn. Use Baloo's engineers to scout the other continent. That is interesting. Mm -hmm. I don't want an alliance. 
our great library is going to give us knowledge whether we have an open border or an alliance. And I, I mean, and unless there's more to it than the uh, tooltip implies, it seems like we get the same one both ways. Okay, mm. so we're going to construct an outpost over here. And I have, I think it's 40 to make a castle. So yeah, we're going to go and link this to Parduk. We're going to make this one into a castle. And we'll go and put down some abbeys immediately. Provide some religion to Parduk. We head on over and check. Oh, they're still short one. Uh, I don't know that I want to chop down this tree. I can, of course, build trading posts over on the rest of the stuff over here. But... We've got, a, we've got another um, Pioneer ready to deploy over here, so I think we'll probably just wait. Um, Parduk's needs are at 194 anyway. They're, they're doing okay. So I think if I'm going to do anything with our points here, we are going to go Clay Mine, Clay Mine, one more, and then I'm going to put myself a reminder that I'm going to want Brickworks. I'm going to want two Brickworks next turn to convert all that clay into bricks and give Parduk a substantial boost to its production. All this is helping us with engineering points as well. Oh, we got our first military ship built, which we'll use to immediately boot a little canoe. This makes me think of playing Sid Meier's Pirates. You get your big pirate ship with like 60 cannons on it, and then you run into a, a war canoe. Although actually, the big pirate ship with 60 um, cannons on it won't be able to catch the war canoe. So it'd be a smaller pirate ship, but still. It tends to be a ruffle stomp. We have basically infinite money, so I will spend the money to hire camels. And this settler. Maybe the place is to go here. And we could always expand by putting a town here later, which would be kind of nice. Assuming we can settle on frozen waste. As far as I know. Wait, there's. Oh, that's a landmark! I. You know what I was thinking? I was thinking in terms of Civ 6, where unless I'm mistaken, regions and areas get named. That's what I was thinking this was, but that's an actual landmark, just like Tall Mountain over here, which we're gonna have to send expeditions to later on. You continue your move, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Do, do, do. Is this a $60 game? Mm, no, it's explicitly not a $60 game. It's cheaper than that. So yeah, this is one of the things I wanna boat for finally to go and bop this. Mm-hmm. Do, 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 do. Yes, keep popping these. Keep giving me... Ah, I was hoping for more exploration XP. This one? Yes, good. Scholars, plus one education from books, goods. I don't know if we're producing very many books yet, so I'm going to skip that for now. We're looking for the second tier stuff currently. Meanwhile, Nico Media has completed their Skull Tower, so we get more Exploration XP. That's the reason we're doing this. After that, I mean, someone's got to build the Great Library. One per nation, but I don't think it matters where we build it. So why don't you go ahead and get it started? That's fine. All right, let's go boop this ship. So the two things, I think now I've got two official requests, two that I can remember for um, for this game, hopefully as a patch. The first thing I would like, well, I mean, okay, three things if you include the fact that like Raiders, the Raiders National Spirit is OP and it got to be changed, but I'm assuming that's going to happen. I do want the thing to have like a little indicator for when we can repair an improvement. Not, I like the fact that there's a green arrow and we can upgrade it, but I want another symbol for when we can repair. And then the other thing I've already forgotten. Um, oh, I, I, there needs to be an option to make the uh, to n make it so you don't have to have the combat pop up every single time. Because let's be real, it's a little bit redonkulous. So there's no way for me to deal with these. I guess if I had military units, I think they could attack from the sea. Although, admittedly, at a huge penalty. Maybe some of those guys will embark, and we can just boop them, and then I can spawn a uh, conquistador on the shores. Any thoughts on Humankind? Have they managed to fix the game? I haven't played it in forever. I mean, I quite enjoyed Humankind um, when it came out because it felt very innovative and different. Um, why are you ending up in Topeka? That's sure not what I'd actually... I think... Oh, I think this is the guy who was vaguely heading down here. 
Um, but I, I felt like the gameplay ended up feeling kind of samey. It was taking the same sort of nations every time. Um, and it also doesn't help that I actually, when I'm playing a 4X game or a grand strategy game, I don't want tactical combat. Um, this goes way back to when I used to play Master of Magic or Master of Orion. I would leave the tactical combat on, but when the battle would start, I would always hit auto. Um, and so, so same sort of thing with, with Humankind, same sort of thing with Age of Wonders. Uh, the tactical combat for a lot of people is like a huge feature, a huge plus. Not as much for me, um, but I felt like in Humankind, you really had to play it manually to get good bang for your buck. And then I'm like, no, I, I just want to manage territory and stuff. And yeah, I don't know. We'd ha we should probably take another crack at it because I know it has changed a lot since release. Hot days, cool nights. The scorching heat of the desert gives way to bitter nut cold at night. The extreme temperature swings are taking its toll on the expedition. Um, you know what? We're going to roll the dice on this one and hope we get the plus 20%. I want to save my engineering XP. Uh, you guys were just coming over here to boop some barbs, I think. And having done that, I wonder if we want to reposition you somewhere else. Barbarians could probably still spawn in this area. These castles can look after themselves now, which is nice. Oh, speaking of barbs. The heck, man. All right, let's come over here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, I think we'll settle here. Although, hmm, do I actually want to change my mind and back up since I can't settle there and get all the fish right away? No, this is fine. Chicago, the Windy City. Um, We actually, okay, here's the other thing. We have enough government power to integrate another city. But also, we have enough government power for us to grab some high-tier abilities in Feudal Monarchy. I mean, probably Suzerainty, if that's how we want to pronounce it. Oh, shit. It would have been nice to do it right before my vassal settled, so that it would have gotten the 50% starting thing. But increasing its max is going to be very helpful, because we're getting a lot out of all of our vassals right now, and getting, presumably, this is another 50%. Some of the tooltips are a little incons in, in, inconsistent. I'm assuming this will raise our, our max prosperity from 300% to 350%. Um, and that's, you know, that's something. On the other hand, I could just integrate one of our cities right now. Which I was sort of talking about just doing old, new, old York. Diplomacy XP from vassals might be insane. Yeah, I mean, the only thing we're using diplomacy XP for right now is probably hit this tolerance button. We're not really actively using the diplomacy points for anything. Give us more ranks over here for just some flat cash. I mean, we're going to want to increase that at some point, but... I mean, I'm sure it's lots of XP because we know that the way that this is presented here is a little bit awkward, but it's really powerful. This is a lot of XP. But the Diplomacy XP doesn't seem that worthwhile. I kind of think I might integrate a city right now. And I kind of want it to be old, new, old York. I don't know if it's the best pick. It's not the biggest city. But at least we won't have to fix as many uh, improvements as much. Right, do that. And then with our culture, we could immediately drop a town, maybe over here, to help push some uh, border expansion. And then maybe another one back here later. Let's do it. The reason I was hesitating is that no matter how big the city, the integration cost is the same, and this isn't the biggest, but it's fine. So yeah, I'm going to pull the town right over here. here go, and then we're going to drop some improvements. You already got fishing boats here and here. Your food situation is fine. You also have fishing boats here that we might replace with a dock, but for now, we're okay. You need some housing, so let's do that right away, and we're going to do the basic housing because you don't have the need for luxury yet. So we'll do that. All your needs are currently being met um, in one one growth, which is going to happen in the three turns here. This will need some um, sanitation. We could keep that in mind, but we're okay. We could spend exploration XP to claim territory, but I think it's better to plan on moving up through, um, through more of the things over here. Okay, do we have books? If I quickly go in a city, um, I don't think we're producing any, because this is religious text, not books. Yeah. 
Same thing here. Yeah, we don't currently produce books, and maybe that's something that's going to have to change, but this is obviously not doing anything. We could save up for Paradigm Ship and then use the Eureka Power. What's Scholarly Society again? Oh, yeah, okay. This is what we're saving up for. We're going to save up for Scholarly Society, which is a building we can build in a city, which will give us five education, which doesn't do knowledge by itself, but is used by other things. It will produce a book by itself. Um, and then what we could do is maybe backfill that. Also, some of the buildings that use education may produce books in and of themselves. So we might see some real value at that point. All right, you chill there. This jerk ass. Oh, speaking of jerk asses. What are you doing there? Did you spawn a barbarian encampment? No? Just being annoying? Okay. I might want to castle this one just to prevent it from getting killed by random barbarian BS, but we'll pull it back. I don't think we need defense in Boise anymore because our uh, towns actually have a decent amount of uh, built-in defense. All right, just stay there. We'll try to send you a boat soon. And then I've got a reminder for Brickworks, which I want to go and slap down two of them uh, over in Parduke. Um, it's probably fine that I put it on the grass here, but... Meatwise, you still have tons to spare. You've got all the fish yet. Yeah, we don't need these camps. I'm, I'm going to keep the grass open just because there's slight... There's things that we can't build anywhere else. So brickwork, and we should have three clay left over for a second brickwork. So at this point, I'll just go and put it over here. Boom. So Parduk's production has gone up a lot. We're consuming, we're producing 12 clay, consuming 12 clay, turning it all into bricks for tons of production and lots of improvement points. What are we making? 120 improvement points per turn now. L ludicrous. Absolutely ludicrous. Do I also use Promote Miracles? No, I don't think so. I think we're done with theologians. Is there a benefit to finishing this off? I don't think so. I guess the benefit is I'm going to stop checking to see this all the time, but yeah, I probably just want to start saving up for community and the scholars are saving up. Okay. I think we're good here. Old new old York, right? What do we want to build for you first? You don't yet have a need for religion. Um, is this one the domain? Civic Monument. Civic Monument will generate influence. Oh, I said domain. Influence, which will push out our borders a little bit faster. How much money do I have? I don't have infinite. Probably fine. Let's just wait until these innovation and chaos things go, and then we'll probably spend some money doing some rushing. <laughs> Happy I can watch your stream. Days just been shit at work. Oh, sorry, JP. You get a fabric point for completing a national thing? I guess we could check. All right. Innovation. Philosophical essays. The brightest minds from the United States have begun to publish their thoughts on how the nation is run and what could be improved. We could accept this. Bonus governor XP from books goods. Yep. Again, we still don't produce a lot of books right now, but that's probably something we want to work on. Government XP is hugely worth it for us right now. We don't generate that much. Plus one, yeah, that's going to be big, and we don't need 900 bucks. That's basically just one turn of income right now. We still have a chaos event brewing, but that's going to be okay. So I, I guess we'll check. I don't have... Other than the fabric point from the community, I don't have anything going on here. I mean, I'll do a save just in case, but I don't think it, I don't think it matters. Um, so if this were to give anything, it would be this arts fabric. Complete it, but yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't do that. I mean, maybe we'll want to use Promote Miracles. Probably doesn't matter, but at least I won't constantly be checking for that. Even though that probably does nothing for us, I'm going to do it just for a quality of life thing. All right, you got a second ship ready to go here. Let's send you... Oh, it's going to be a long trip. Hmm. All right, maybe I won't. Are there any watery goody huts that we can see? Oh, I think over here these are that. Yeah, they're not the uh, most obvious to someone who is very bad at spotting things like myself. Mm -hmm. Oh, we must have gotten the plus 20% last time. Nice. Um, we could take another chance here. Maybe I'm at 100%. I mean, chances are pretty good. Hay changes nothing, leaves it to the 80. I'm going to take risks here. Park yourself here. Thank you very much. Get over here. Make sure to keep this area safe. 
And I was going to say, there was a little barbarian dude around. I wonder, can I, with the control right click, can I attack without moves? No, okay. I still need movement to attack, even if I'm doing the thing for no movement. But I guess we had a second army. Oh, wait, this is the army that also had the uh, pioneer in it, which I shouldn't have moved because he would have been able to build the outpost this turn. Oh, well, all right, listen, you just come over here. I'm going to try to bypass that guy completely. Perfect time to take risk, crossing the Sahara. Yeah, and what could possibly go wrong? All right, New York finished a Man of War. Man of War, we could produce some more, but honestly, it seems like we're booping things perfectly fine. Um, New York does need more sanitation, which we're not going to get out of a building over here. It actually needs a little bit more religious needs, too, so we're going to build this holy site. And we are going to get you a trash heap. There we are. You need a little housing, a little food. Do you have any raw resources we could be converting? You have two meat. I guess I could build a kitchen. I think the kitchen can do three meat. No, it's two. All right. There you go. That'll max that out. And... Oh, we're actually not gathering from this tile here. Although we may not need to, because we're perfectly consuming all the meat being produced right now. We'd have to create two more to justify a kitchen. Although, if anything, I should build it... I should put the hunting camp here, because it'll also get us bone, and then trash this one. Because it's not giving us bone. Um, let me build a house for you. I think it was working the trash heap. Now it's not. It's still getting some sanitation from it. I could plop down some more, but since you could work the trash heap to max that out, I think we're going to call this good enough. Oh, yes, the import slots. Yeah, we haven't been messing with this. So right now, the foreign imports, I can just import these trade goods for culture. Export, I could send extra crap around the way that I'm not using. Wait, am I ending with an extra meat? I'm mean, ending up with one extra meat. It must be, have to do with tiles being worked or not worked or whatever. We have one hunt, one more hunting camp slot here, so we could end up with two excess meat. But the kitchen's being fully worked. Yeah, if we do this, we're still capped out. Although, what would we work instead? Maybe the harbor, actually, for Exploration XP. Yeah, we got some more manable hills. That is true, too. I mean, York's got crazy production, so I'm not too worried about that. Oh, yeah, I could work the sanitation. There you go. We're still not at 200% need, which actually might not be changing anything. No. Yeah, even if I take this back, it's still it's still growing. Well, right now it's all growing in one turn, so it's a little hard to see. I'll just stick you in a harbor for now, and then we might move things around next turn. But do you have to target a region for the exports? I was just hoping I could just import. Okay, so is the foreign always truly foreign? Okay, do I have another building, another thought that's got its slots yet? Okay, we've got a few more with foreign imports. Hang on a sec. Okay, everywhere except Belfast. Just for funsies, hold on. I'm going to send this wool to Belfast. So it is there. That's a little annoying. I was hoping we'd just be able to put excess stuff in here and then look at a city that needs something. Because now I have to be looking at Belfast and being like, oh, Belfast needs an extra foo. And then I have to cycle through all my cities to find which one's got a foo and put that in the export slot. I don't love that. Can I just import foreign goods in every single one of these slots? Is there someone on the other side producing these foreign goods? Base cost eight. Cost in what?
We got 80 of this. It might be diplomacy. 78 and 80. Let's take a look over here. I don't know which one it was, but it wasn't Belfast. Or this. Gold? It's gold. It's like three. Uh, I don't think we see our gold cost over here. Okay, so it's in Nico. Let me just remember that. So we've got Diplomacy 78, Improvement is 80, Gold is ending in 85. Not Gold, it's not Improvement slot, it's not Diplomacy. Oh, in Income! Oh, okay, that's fair. That's legit. Okay, yep, it is. So it cost me eight gold per turn to generate more culture. Okay. Well, it's maybe a little less straightforward. Right now, we actually generate ludicrous amounts of culture, but normally that would be pretty appealing, but not necessarily something you do all the time. I'm happy you guys thought it was gold income. Hey, Spain. All right, chaos, learned ones. The people in the United States are voracious with their education and constantly seek out new research to evolve their businesses, home life, and philosophical thinking. If we accept, we have double the education need per population, or we can just pay it off. Because I don't want that. It's bad. It doesn't actually make us smarter, just means we need more resources to do research and crap. Hey, 100% chance. Blam. It's going to give us Warfare XP, which we don't need. That's capped out, so we'll convert it to Tenacity, lowering our upkeep. Okay, so here we're just gonna go and yeah, look for more watery goody huts. Exploration XP? No. Um I mean this is this is a sixth roughly of the culture we're producing per turn. I guess this is about a turn worth of warfare XP, which you don't need very much right now, but I think I'll probably do that anyway. In the early game it would be a no-brainer to take the culture, but our our empire's just going crazy. So this is Topeka. Could use a little more religion. Need some housing and sanitation, which we can't build here. Oh, you can build a skull tower. Well, please, we need the uh, we need the XP. I think I have tons of money saved, right? Oh, I can almost. We just spent. We're just we're just under for the skull at the society. That's what I want to have. Mm hmm. Yes, and we need five fabric of of each type for one of the end game ages. So we might hunt that. We'll see. I'm sitting on 300 improvement points. Okay. Let's take a look at old, new, old New York. Even if it doesn't need these things built yet, we will start on that. Uh, we are definitely looking to build logging camps on all your forts, especially since you're already working those tiles. So, I guess that, oh, yeah. I thought this was the blue border, but it's a river here. Um, And then I guess we're going to go and build you, well, I was gonna say a sawmill, but maybe we get a paper mill. Maybe old, new, old York produces paper for us for more books. And then the printing press converts the paper. No, printing press gives... Oh, yeah, it does give us books. This converts one paper to one book. So we still have an extra paper over here, yeah? And one thing we could do is we could do something like wherever we've got some wood, produce paper and send it all to old, new, old New York. I should put another new in there because I keep saying it, apparently. But for now, another printing press. There you go. Oh, you could actually make some flour. You've got some wheat being produced from there. Yeah, you don't have a lot of farmland. Um, the mill does produce flour from that. I guess we'll do that. And then we'll also build an oven to turn the two flour into two bread. Um, they're working the oven, but they don't actually have the inputs for it. Guys, you have to keep working the farm. There we go. Keep working the farm for now. And then when your population goes up, put one in the mill. And then when your population goes up, put one in the... Actually, right now, I'm going to pull it out of the hunting camp 
and put it into the mill. There you go. Full 200%. Nice. We can get some extra fishing boats for this and everything, too. Come back over here, and we're going to start working on this expedition again. I could I could poop out a uh, pioneer here, too, to build an outpost in this area. Actually, wouldn't be a bad place for a city. Let me just do the expedition for now, though. Okay, so I am going to do the exploration XP1, which leaves me just enough <clears throat> for Scholar Society. Which is going to give us a building that'll produce more books. And then what I'll probably do at that is then backfill widespread publication to make books more powerful. I mean, it's just more education. It's not more knowledge. It's just more education, but it's still handy. But scholarly society seems to make a lot of sense for us. You're going to build that. And yeah, nothing I can build on any of these right now. I guess if we do go and unlock the colony, I wonder... I guess the idea here was to build a castle. You're linked to Parduk? Yeah. Build a castle so we can build abbeys. Yeah. But we're going to do that because it needs religion. One more. It'll max it out. There you go. Parduk's religion need is completely satisfied now. Um, do we have enough for a trash heap? We do. We'll just stick it over here. It can flow into the water. That's fine, right? We are. Okay, we'll leave it there. We're basically out of improvement points anyway. So you finish your Sahara Desert, or do we just not have the points? We don't have the points. So we'll just have you sit here and wait one turn. We could rush our culture. I suppose there's no reason not to. I think I might build a town for old, new, old York. Uh, no. I guess I've been talking about with Chicago to expand over there. Um, right, we did build Austin. I could still build another one just to help it with border growth. Oh, is the Sahara done? The Sahara might be done. I don't remember where it was. No, it is further south. That's my thought. Oh, right here. Oh, it is X'd out from being incomplete. It's also X'd out from the fact that we have no points, but okay. So why don't you come up here? We'll do the Tall Mountain and the Frozen Wastes. I mean, we could just local reforms again. Oh, you know what? I think I'm in a cutting edge. I'm hoping we get some more, um, some more wonders. So I'm going to construct this outpost here. We don't, <coughs> excuse me. Maybe I'll send this one to old new old York. Because it's going to need religion at some point. But I might not upgrade it right now. I don't have the uh, improvement points anyway. We're just going to let it sit here. But I think that might be the idea. News from abroad. Persia and Brazil have formed an alliance. Well, good for them. Oh, there's a goodie hut. Or should we have a different name for underwater goodie huts? Or should we just keep calling it underwater goodie huts just because it's funny? Persia and France are now at war. Brazil and Spain are now at war. France and Brazil have ended their war. Society. So, coffee house improvement converts to your coffee into analytics, which are worth knowledge. You huts. Sunken goods, treasure troves. The public library. Um, so we can build this on the town. It produces outright knowledge for us. It consumes education, but we have a source of education now. It also gives us specialists. And the shopping center would give us more uh, import slots if we want, as well as just some flat diplomacy, XP, and culture. Okay. Next tech. Now do we go reason? It just generates more specialists, which specialists are like a different improvement points. This gives us uh, the university. A bunch more knowledge. I think that's what we want to do. Literary salon as well improvement. Yeah, let's get reason. Scholarly Society still, and the Public Library. Both will give us the same amount of knowledge. The Scholarly Study, the books will give us the Government XP as well, which is nice. Yeah, let's build the Scholarly Society first.
Does Medieval Uni upgrade to a Uni? It may. Oh yeah, we need to spam out our Recon Balloons. Although, this age, we need to research four technologies to exit. No, not just three, so we've got a little bit of time. But yeah, I want to see what the Age of Aether is. I was upset that I missed out on it in uh, my video. So, oh, we're already 110%. So I can literally take the minus 10% and be fine here. And then hopefully we get a do-nothing event on the next stage. Oh, there's another one. I guess I'll take the improvement points, because the money doesn't mean anything, although we're sitting on a lot of improvement points, too. What we need to do is we un we need to unlock some upgrades for our buildings, and that's going to just be a huge dump of our improvement points. I guess I have enough engineering XP. Oh, this one's already been castled. What's the other one? Um, must be the newest one over here. Yeah, right here. Uh, let's castle this. I don't know. All right, let's get let's get all of our techie buildings up. This followed by the public library is going to be good. And scholarly society, public library. Why is it Saturday? No, bonus stream. I guess in some places that's true. Some places it's already Saturday. Goody Hut. Exploration XP, yes. Sorry I'm not reading those out, but I'm trying to save my voice a little bit. More Exploration XP. Good. We're looking for. 100% chance. Scattered Relics suggests this is where the Fabled City once stood. So we can actually take the Relics for Art XP. Not that we need it really anymore, but we also don't need to boost our success chance. We're already capped, so sure, we'll take the Art XP. Right, and you're going to come over here, and you're going to start exploring this mountain. We're going to want to pay Engineering XP to boost the success chance first. And yeah, you're going to come over here and embark to sea. Hey, there's a green border over here. Someone settled this island. More edumacation. Well, then, then we really do still need to find the time to get those uh, Aether Balloons out. And the Arts Power Button's worth pressing? It's a good question. I'm not sure. So, Reduce Unrest, we've been managing our rest perfectly fine. So we don't have to worry about that. I did use this a fair bit in my uh, my Sweden game. Immigration here increases the region population by one. We could have used that on Old New Old York. Because they actually had less than ten. Oh, it works with ten. There we go. Cool. Uh, cultural exports gives more prosperity. This is actually nice, maybe with some of the newer vassals. I could spam it on, say, Chicago or Sozu over here to try to bring the prosperity up. Adopt religion, religious celebration. I don't think we need any of those. Yeah. The cultural exports, it might be worth slamming this button over and over. So all of our big cities all are capped. So we'd really be looking at Sozu over here. If the price doesn't go up. It doesn't go up, but it's got a cooldown. All right, I might put a little reminder on there. Since we're actually doing okay on the art social fabric, we can afford to spend those points on that. Meanwhile, feudal monarchy. Well, I'm gonna go ahead with a suzerainty. Suzerainty? suzerainty for increasing the prosperity max and it might be worth going and backfilling uh manorialism at that point just to help all the cities get up because i don't think their prosperity goes up naturally yeah 350. i, I think unless we've got one of those traits and we had one in the previous era uh, or we put out a bunch of merchants but we've got a lot of cities and not that much to do how's this difference in civ 6 other than the mobile style ui first of all I don't understand, like, people saying, like, mobile style UI for this. Like, if I'm playing a mobile game that's got, like, 
this much shit on the screen in tiny little fonts? Like, I don't understand. But what What's happening is there's there is simply a um, uh, convergent ed evolution going on with user interfaces from both the desktop size and mobile size. I, I don't see, I don't understand the, the, how? I mean, this text here is a little bit big. Bigger than it needs to be for a, a PC. The rest of it, I don't know shit. Like, this, can you imagine trying to read this shit on a mobile device? What the heck, man? Um, and how is it different from Civ? Literally every single mechanic is completely different. The only thing that's vaguely similar is research points to unlock tech works pretty much as you understand it. But every facet of like how your cities grow in terms of space, how they grow in terms of their population, the vassal system versus capital regions, like the combat system's completely different. It's bonkers. Yeah, I guess I'll take the culture. I want more of these to give us... What are you exclamation marking? Oh, these guys. Um, oh. We should go and deal with that barbarian. Yeah, I wouldn't mind... Uh, oh, there's another little underwater goodie hut. I wouldn't mind a better indicator for those. You do get a little eyeball when you get close, which is handy. Okay, let's complete the City of Gold expedition. Still don't have deference, so we're not getting the uh, free innovation. We've lost out on so much innovation for that, but we're doing fine. Gonna give us a bunch of culture. Creates the city of gold tile. You know, before I finish it... No, this guy doesn't have a settler. It's fine. We'll do this, and then we'll have this guy poop out a pioneer. So we can claim that properly. You are gonna explore the tall mountain. Hey, Quill, pay attention. There's a new subscriber. Govern XP is very valuable, but we need to get our success chance up. I'm just gonna do this. We'll pay. Yeah, the envoy getting booped. I didn't expect there to be too much out there. It's fine. Not like these other people have anything useful to give us anyway. Mm -hmm. Has Quill done the consecutive crisis age? And yes, it's an option. Oh, no. I mean, this run here has been... I mean, technically, we did do a crisis. We did the Age of Blood, but that was intentional. There's less crisis. Randy G Photography. Thanks for the sub. All right, poop out a pioneer. And then construct an outpost. Do I want to move? Do I want more f potential flat ground? I mean, it's forest is not useful. If I move over here, I get one extra fish. I could move down here, and then we could build trading posts on two fish, the sheep. Okay, that's, I think, the way to do it. Spain, you're not going to attack me. We're, we're cool, right? I'm just going to move this guy down here, unescorted. I can always poop out another one if I need to. Yeah, all right. We'll spend the engineering, and er, sorry, the exploration XP for 10% success chance. And as for the ship, we're just still looking for... Oop, there we go. Exploration XP. Nice. Little monarchy. Oh, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm going to pick up a uh, manorialism here since there's a point to it again, because we raised our cap and technically we've got a couple extra vassals. Culture power. Again, at some point, we're going to probably spam out a bunch of this social doctrines is now the time for it. I could be building some more towns. If nothing else, we could consider building one in old new old York. And I'd probably build one right here because it'll cover a lot of adjacent territory. I could also build one right here with the idea of it being a lumber one because it's got three lumber tiles. Or we'll build it here with the idea that we're going to clear cut these and then just build a lot of farming. Nothing else, getting some extra greenery for old new old New York, or however it's called, might be kind of nice. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a town right here. Redmond. You can just go sit, sit in there. Okay. Again, I want to start making these balloons. Oh, this is old new old York. So we're not going to build it there. We're going to get some infrastructure. Uh, in particular, uh, you do need sanitation, but we can do it with a few tile improvements. Um... Civil Engineer. I, want, I wanted something that can boost our production. I'm going to do that. I'm going to immediately rush it. We have enough cash for it. Oh, 
Oh, what am I sipping on? It's a uh, sugar-free 7-Up. It's something a little bubbly, but effectively just is, is bubbly water. Okay, I think the waterworks is fine. Although I can still build, build the uh, the trash heap or whatever for it now. I think we are going to get these ranches. Does anyone know if there's ever an upgrade to the hunting camp? Because even on the, the tiles here with deer, at a certain point, I don't know if it's worth it anymore. You know? Well, we certainly don't need it now. Okay, let's go and just build ourselves a trash heap. To fix that, New York is growing at 200% rate. Good. Let's not worry about you anymore right now. We have so many improvement points. What are we going to do with it? Well, we might just need to integrate some more cities. Harduk. You have the meat. You actually could use a little bit more food production. Although, you don't really have worker to spare. Well, we could pull this worker off of the logging camp, actually. Yeah, probably we'll do that. Okay. Let's go set up a kitchen. And then you might have moved there automatically. Yeah, you're still in the logging camp. And I think you've been pulled off the trash heap. There you go. Is there someone else I'd want to pull off of something? I think the villa. Do we need it for the luxury? We don't? Good. Let's go into the trash heap again. Oh, we're still not at 200%. We're almost there, although you're still growing pretty quick. All right. You can build a merchant for the new vassal, yeah. Actually, we've got a merchant sitting in one of our vassals. No, that's not that. Vassals are over here. Um, Money for I mean, unless he got booped Money somewhere along the way. Essential. He's sitting in Dallas. Thanks for the all. He is doing food. something now, but it I think it makes sense to move him to Chicago. The stitches, thank you. The, the, I had to manually click the eject merchant, and now I can move him here. Even though he was here when it was full for a while. So I don't know... Maybe it never auto-ejects them. Anyway, head up to Chicago. Mm-hmm. Kiku Clay City? Yeah. There's no upgrade to the hunting camp. Okay. Nico, I'm gonna get you to do this. In fact, New York, you're gonna build two. Wait on there. So that's going to bring us up to three. Dallas is over 300% prosperity. Yeah, we, our 350 is our cap right now. And all our cities are getting 5% per turn now that we picked up um, Menorahism. All right, construct outpost. I would. I definitely want to cancel this, but we don't have the engineering points apparently. But that's going to have to be okay. You're linked to New York. I don't think I care where you're necessarily linked to. I'm going to have this conquistador sit in here for now. Not that this is the best use of this unit, but... We, it might stay parked in there, I don't know. Uh, we'll trading post. I should, maybe I should send all this stuff to New New York, actually. It's gonna have its food just dealt with for the rest of the game. Well, not forever and ever, but yeah, let's do that. Because I don't think New York needed it. I think I'm gonna split these fleets up. Because they're much more powerful than any of the barbarian ships we're running into. Again, we're like way, way ahead of everything in this game. It's, it's just a cakewalk to, for us to see the later eras. Engineering XP. Oh, hello. So now I got the engineering XP. I can come back over to here. Turn this into a castle for a little bit more self-protection. And then I'd have the option of maybe moving out with this conquistador. Nothing else. Let's go and do that. See what's there. How much research culture comes from the vassals? So if we take a look, out of my 68 research, 22 of it, let's say, comes from my vassals. So they represent about a third, about a third of our research right now, even though like there's way more vassals than anything else, but that's the integrated cities are worth a lot more. Now the culture, we are getting a lot from the, the, the vassals and for a while. Ooh, we did not do a very good job with that, did it? Thank you, Ink. And I like the science going on. It sounds like someone like someone trying to do a really bad, like, French reading. Um. Yeah, when we change government, you're right. We will lose 
We'll lose royal court. Um, no, the culture is coming from theologians, which we never lose. This religious education here, because we don't, we don't ever move out of theologians. The only thing that's going to happen is apparently our people are going to become more non-religious over time here. So that culture bonus might go down. But for a while, that was, that was huge. Oh, no, there's culture from vassals. The culture from vassals, I guess, is always there. Yeah, we don't have anything in here giving us culture, right? So no, that's just what they're doing legitimately. But you think I can spawn an envoy from the outpost? Oh, that's quite cool, actually. Oh, that's really handy. All right, let's go meet the neighbors. Oh, you can be upgraded to muskets. Hello. It's just warfare XP to upgrade here. You don't have to spend out of your, uh, your currency. That's the thing. These domains radically change the 4X um, template and the way the improvement points work. Which, actually, I think I had a bunch more points to spend. This is What's going to happen here is we're going to be sitting on, like, capped um, improvement points a bunch until it's time to do a big change. Because, like, I got a couple of empty tiles in York, and, I mean, if nothing else, I could put down some harbors here. But I don't. we're not working every single one of our tiles right now. So if they're working here, they're not working somewhere else. And that may or may not be what we want. Right? If the needs are basically being met, New York does need sanitation, although it's possible your trash heaps are just not being worked. Yeah, no one's working with trash heaps. We could plop down more because they will po just passively give, me, give us benefits. The other thing I can do here in New York is build a mine. And then in somewhere like New York, we don't have enough. Yeah, I just have a single iron ore. This is not enough for us to do anything with. I thought, although we have another iron here. Oh, our furnace only currently does one to one. So I could build a second furnace, or we'll probably get an upgrade for it later. Actually, we already have two furnaces. Okay, let's not worry about that. But as I say, this might be a good one to export. But I guess each town can only export to one other town. I can't just provide the goods on my public market. So I guess maybe the thing to do. Since New York can't split where it's sending things to, we're almost picking one city that is just going to be the industrial city, maybe. We send any excess raw resources to that city and have that one just build the manufactories that converts them to something else. Hmm. Probably just cancel this export for now. If anything, New York could really use something for weaving. Do I have an untapped flat resource? Right over here. I mean, it's just more wealth. And see, we don't even have the population to work it. Extra coal in New York with a mine. Do we not? Oh, do we not have a mine there? Yeah, we should definitely mine it. So it's technically available. Yeah, well, so we're going to have to do some, some restructuring. Check out this tall mountain. That's nice. Get booped. Good vision on these ships. Which, to be fair, there's no hills or forests or something that are going to get in our way. Okay, so tall mountain's been done, huh? Yep. So now we're going to come over to frozen wastes. Engineering XP for 20% chance? Yes, please. I mean, we do want the engineering XP for things, but that's okay. Engineering XP feels like it's valuable through most of the games. Definitely kind of a... feels like a high priority for us to get. Just sank a lifeboat? I mean, these little, these little war canoes? consider just doing a bunch of point stumping and work here. Oh, we've got access to the forest, so I'm going to go ahead and build more logging camps. Nothing else, just to spend the resources currently so that we don't sit at our cap. But right now, so we're hitting our improvement points cap every two turns right now. It's kind of a nice problem to have. We 
haven't even hunting camp these two tiles, but we may not want to. Um, so yeah, you've got a lot of wood. Oh, so I could make... Okay, you got the paper, which we're not yet converting... We're converting some of it. Oh yeah, you just don't have the workers. Okay, that's fine. Your needs are basically being met. You could maybe use a little bit more housing. Oh, I guess I should probably put on the non-deer things first, but it's fine. But yeah, then we got our literary salons. Generate specialists by consuming education. I'm fine with that right now. Goody hut. Care about? Oh, don't really care about the barbarian. Oh, let's let's try the thing. If I control right click, indeed we didn't move in that tile. Did consume the movement, but we didn't move into that tile. That's really handy. The ships are maybe starting to take some attrition damage, but that's okay. All right, reason is done. So we have to do one more tech, and then we can go into the age of aether if we pump out those balloons. So we're gonna have to work on that. What do I want next? I think we can live without standing army. Oh, the bakery is an improvement for our food production, which seems like a pretty good idea. And give us an extra town. Oh, two more. For some reason I thought I could just complete my third tech, but I guess because we were talking about it last time. Okay, so I've got plenty of time. Yeah, I know I needed four, but for some reason I thought I'd completed three already. Innovation, missionaries. <clears throat> small, village, small village communities near the United States have yet to convert your state religion. Their ways are archaic and dangerous. They they worship the Calzone. Crazy. Priests from the United States wish to explore the local villages and trade knowledge with them. If I accept, we get plus four faith from regions. Sure, I don't need 900 bucks. You can see why I'm not doing these alliances. The other continent's just constantly at war. I mean, it wouldn't affect us at all, but it might suddenly prove to be annoying at some point. We'll pop over here, and what we're going to do is we're going to open negotiations. Barcelona, which is owned by Persia, of course. So now we have some extra buttons. Let's go ahead and open an embassy over here. Both nations gain access to a wider range of diplomatic action. I guess that's part of the extra actions we're in here as well. Envoys established. Open an embassy. We have to spend resources. Um, more exploration XP, please. As well as... Okay, this is a great time for us to do the Monarchy Reformed because we'll get the innovation while the bar is empty, which is a really nice place for that to happen. And then for scholars, well, I still don't need the education from books. Education is not knowledge points. Maybe we want a paradigm shift and then just hit a new Eureka over here. See how much difference it gets. Right now we get 185. So out of curiosity, if I do this, how much do I get from the Eureka? This is 185. Got the check mark for paradigm shift. Let's wait one turn in case those numbers update. Yeah, I think some research treaties would be a very good idea. I agree with you. This is the same turn. Let me just see if closing it, reopening it. No, it still says 185. Okay, so we'll officially wait until next turn. Uh, recon balloon, please. We can always rush it if we have a shortage. I think we had three queued up, so this should bring us to five. Yeah, I should have just taken the wealth. You're right, because it's always capped. But I mean, our wealth is also ridiculous. I was like, neither one of these buttons matter, but I probably should have taken the money, even if it was... Not that meaningful. Nico's got a lot of tiles that could have been proved, actually. Let's go and slap down a crap ton of stuff. First of all, I'm going to mine all these hills. And then we're going to convert this copper. So we need a furnace. Now... Technically, we need currently need four furnaces to process all of it. I might not do that because I think we're going to get an upgrade. So I think I'm just going to build two. 
with the idea we'll probably get an upgrade uh, version of a furnace that consumes two copper to make two ingots. How do you back to the prior age on the research screen? Oh, you just you just click and drag it. Wee wee. You can use this to backfill, which will give you uh, social things. We'll probably end up doing that once we know what we're short on in terms of the social fabric stuff. We'll backfill some of these to get some wild cards to fill in as needed. We're almost we're almost banking those, <clears throat> and the research cost is irrelevant, so we'll get tons of overflow. They'll probably a bunch of them will probably end up saying zero. In fact, we might be able to do it zero, zero, one, do more overflow. All right, we have an embassy with Persia. Oh, and then we get a cooldown. Right, right, right. Goody huts. I guess I'll take the XP because then we can, yeah, we can just pop this more. So let's trigger community, which we have lots of, but it's still good, right? Unrest reduction, we're really not having to worry about it ever. Natuomi, thank you very much for the sub. We could spawn a settler. Again, just to kind of fill in some gaps, so this would be a pretty weak area. Although, all those fish would be huge food. I could do something like build a settler here, build the town here, let them expand to the fish. In short term, I can still fish these tiles for some food. Maybe we do that. I like it. Now, I think, okay, I thought I could spawn it out of Belfast, but I guess not. We've got units in the area already, so we've got vision. I think I can send you out alone and be safe. Didn't realize you could scroll back on the research screen. I thought after New Age, you could never learn those. Yeah, um, so, some, of, some of the reviews from Millennia complained about not being able to you know, if you miss research or, or whatever, or complain about not having access to some feature, like clearing forest until age nine, and it turns out, no, you actually can get that in age five or something like that. But, you know, you might have to go back and backfill it and stuff like that. So yeah, it can, it can definitely catch you off guard. And there's benefits to it because some of the techs are still useful later. Like, um, we never picked, um, this knowledge is, well, you know what? I'm still going to take it. Um, some of the text, some of the stuff kind of basically it's just fully replaced later on, so you don't have to worry. But some things like we will go back and pick up professional army if we're ever going to be in a fight because it gives you plus one army size. Even if the military units are obsolete, it's still worth picking that up. Oh, yeah, scrolling the mouse also works. I find it a little slow with my current scroll speed, so I don't tend to use it. Instead, I kind of like this. Um... We could poop out another pioneer over here and take some territory. I guess I should probably pop out another envoy so that we can send it to another player, like whoever is orange down here. And then I guess I can pop out another one. So orange is Spain. We've got Brazil and France somewhere out there. I know there was a little green, like weirdly in the north right there. Yeah, the, we know there's pirate ships over here. That's where we need to send a, uh, a warship of some kind. Uh, crossbow, spear. Oh, it's because I spawned the pioneer here. I'm like, why are you guys awake? Uh, one of the things we could be doing out there war sp for XP right now, other than just filling out the social fabric, which is actually getting pretty full, is we could go around and just upgrade a lot of the units. Yeah, I don't want the chaos. So, what do we do with the culture? Oh, right, Eureka. I don't think Paradigm Shift works. So there's no change to knowledge.
Generate extra knowledge from the Eureka culture power. No, the 80% is unrelated. Hold on, let's do a little save and see if we can do some, some math on some things. So Eureka always says it generates X amount of knowledge. The, the, the amount of knowledge it's, it is based on the age, as far as I can tell. It's not based on anything you can produce. And the times 80% is always there. Every time you use the Eureka power, the next time you use it, it will produce 80% less. So if we hit this button now, whatever 185 times 80% is, that's what the next Eureka would be. And we could confirm it right away with the tooltip. And then it's got a check mark for technology paradigm shift that we have. And then it says no change to knowledge. And I don't think it said that before. Now, I don't know if we can check. The research is currently... Uh, it's annoying. We can't... We can't see how much we have. We see the total research cost is 411. We see we're producing 70.5 per turn. I kind of wish it was telling us like 200 of 411 or something right now. So we could compare the math and see if we gained 185 or more or what. And yeah, maybe the bonus doesn't go down. Let's hit the button. No, it still went down. Oh, but there we go. But now it's got the plus 74. M maybe the paradigm shift builds up from the Eureka. Maybe the idea with Paradigm Shift is this makes it spammable. Maybe it makes that power spammable. So the base amount went down. So 185 times 80%, I'm guessing sends you to 148. But now we got the plus 74, which is actually more than what we lost. That's interesting. It's Hmm. All right, we got a public sphere. What do we get next? I could, again, we could be doing some backfilling, but I think I want the latest and greatest tech. Okay, that deference. So much lost, so much lost value from not taking it, but, well, only in terms of innovation points. Canton office is pretty cool, though. But I'm actually wondering about colonies and seeing the colony is an outpost specialization. I'm kind of curious to see what that is because I haven't played with it yet. So we're gonna do that. Maybe it activates only when you're below your knowledge bonus cap. Maybe. Oh yeah, I don't need a reminder anymore actually for promote cultural exports because our prosperity is going up on its own and we do have a merchant out and about. I guess that's the other thing I would like to request from the developers to make the cities automatically poop out the merchants when they're at max prosperity or give you an alert. All right, so these balloons, we're building purely because we want to enter the Age of Aether, right? We're going to go steampunky. They are kind of interesting. They do do combat stuff. They can also be toggled. They have a mode over here. I can hit this button to deploy the balloon, which gives it much increased sight range and reduces its movement. So, you know, gives you great vision somewhere. Nice, maybe some of the, the like the borders of your empire. I don't know. Let's let's stick one in Dallas. New York's got two there. Let's take one of these out and uh, let's I'll move to Magara. So I'm going to pull one of these units out of here. here. I'll park you in Alexandria. There we go. We're capped on improvement points again. I know, game. I know. Faster than I can spend it. Exploration XP, please. Right, yep, you're still coming down here. This is my settler. I guess I came down here to boop a barbarian encampment, didn't I? How do you do diplomacy with other nations and course them not to gang up on you? It's a good question. I don't know yet, because all I've done is just killed them all instead. Oh, hey, we can upgrade our ovens to bakeries. Nice. So that, that's going to be a great dump for us. Let's just cycle between our cities looking for green arrows. We really not have that many, uh, that many ovens. Now, what's going to happen? Some of these cities we will likely see. I was going to say, there you go. We now have a shortage of flour. Now, <clears throat> it's not the end of the world. We just didn't actually produce enough flour to do that. Maybe it wasn't worth doing the upgrade here. Or maybe what I do is just say, all right, 
let me produce a little bit more grain and turn more of it into flour. Because why not? Let's build a flour a farm here, which will give me two more wheat. And then if I go and slap down one more mill to turn that wheat into flour. Um, oh, we don't have enough population to work everything. Right. And you're already at 200% food. It's kind of unnecessary. Kind of unnecessary. But it'll be there. When the city, when the city keeps growing, it'll do that. So actually, there's no reason to work in this mill here. Yeah, at all. And then I may as well throw you in, say, the trash heap for now. There you go, to satisfy that. Okay. And I guess you need an outpost for your religion need. Did you not? Wow, you didn't actually finish them. Crazy. Some war canoes are tougher than others. Up and boom border, so we're taking a look around here. Okay. Research. We need one more balloon, which is being built in Nico. Good. Just wanted to confirm that. So, New York. Well, let's upgrade to a university, please. And then build a public library. When the third towns become available? Now. Or rather, I think they became available when I did... Oh, Public Sphere. That gave me the third town. So actually, that's that's what we're going to be spamming our culture power for for a little next little bit. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of good uh, deep water goodies over here too, which is nice. You keep moving. You keep moving. You. I think I was going to plop the city here. Yeah. Another balloon. Let's just send you to... Let's send you to Old New Old York. You're going to go into Megara and just chill there. Hell, you can deploy for the vision. And you are just going to keep looping barbarians. Hope you can heal at sea. You're not in enemy territory, so presumably you can. Let's just do that. All right, now that we've destroyed all those barbarians around here, let's boop these things. Exploration XP, yes, please. Brother Beard, are you some sort of hacksaw? The treats are disabled. At least on my screen. Oh, no, they got re-enabled. Maybe I disabled them yesterday and it was on a cooldown. Oh, all right. Cool. I, is that sushi? Thank you very much, Brother Beard. I really appreciate that. I was very confused because I thought I'd turned off Treat Stream, but I'm not going to complain. <laughs> Snack time is never disabled. It's, all, the, it's just the only reality. You're getting sushi whether you want it or not. Now I really do. It's perfect. Because as per usual, I didn't have lunch, uh, so I had I had my uh, my mini wheats for breakfast. Is that what I had? Yeah, mini wheats for breakfast, and then but that was at seven, and it is nearly four o'clock. And sushi sounds like a good uh, a good pre dinner snack, doesn't it? What are we doing with this guy? I think I'm just parking him here in Alexandria. You have a merchant. See again. Please to be auto ejecting the merchants. All right, you've done that. This is neutral territory. I'll just come over here to be give yourself a little more space, and then chill until you're healed. All right, Nico, finish the last balloon that we wanted. Um, I mean, I guess tech. Hard to argue with tech. Let's talk about techs, baby. Your chef senses were tingling. I will try to turn it off tomorrow, though, for the Saturday stream, because I'm planning on... I think I'm going to make Coco Vin, which I've never made before. But I just re recently watched the second season of uh, James May O'Cook, and uh, he does it in an episode, and I was like, yeah, I could do that. Is this balloon going anywhere? It seems to have interrupted itself. I don't know. Let's go there. Oh, you were probably going up north, but it just wasn't showing me the path. 
for whatever reason. I was probably sending you somewhere. You know what? It doesn't matter. Hmm, you are in my way. Well, maybe you'll move next turn. This settler, yeah. So I'm going to settle here. And actually, I talked about using my culture power to do extra towns. I guess I am going to do a town, but I'm going to do one for Philly over here right away. Just with the idea, because I want these borders to expand out uh, over there. So that it can take advantage of this fish. So, take a look. Oh, I guess we don't get a... Um, probably because it hasn't generated any anything yet. Uh, this would be the place to send that merchant, actually. Diplomacy is capped out. We could do some bribes. But no, I think we'll just trigger tolerance. And you're just going to park here. Improvement points? No. Wealth? Oh yeah, we're capped on improvement points again. I kind of wish we could donate improvement points to our vassals, but that sort of... The whole thing with them being vassals and being independent is they have their own improvement points. Taking a, just taking a look around someone else's territory here. Uh, this merchant, right, you're going to come out of here. You're going to head to... Chicago? I think we're already sending someone to Chicago. Instead, where did we just settle? Philly, over here. units in there. Actually, I don't want to put all four. That's fine. Okay. Old, new, old York. Probably just tech. Lifton Tower is just more improvement. Oh, we can do the uh, pizza parlor for some pizzaism, since you do need it. Uh, you might want the holy site as well. All right, I'll build those two first. We got so much money. You know what? Since it's impeding your growth... I'm going to rush this pizza parlor. Yeah, I'll rush the holy site as well. There we go. Even old, new, old York was once new, new, new Amsterdam. All right. You just relax over here. Colony's research ready in a turn. Since these are going to go away when we switch to our new government, do we get... Do we know what ages you get a new government? Because I know when you're clicking in these domains, we know when we're going to get a new national spirit. So an age eight. Do we know if we get a new government in the next age? The other thing too is over here it doesn't actually give you the age number, which is a little annoying as far as I know. Okay, so this enlightenment is the sixth age. So the question is, do we get a government in the seventh age? Is there a place that we can find that out? I guess, when did we get feudal monarchy? Was it this age? I think it was this age. Government age is one, three, five, eight. That's interesting. So you get a national spirit and a government in age eight? So national spirits are every even. So two, four, six, eight. Oh, it says on the screen. Which screen? A little laggy. It says at the bottom of the government page. Okay. Oh, of this government? So not the government page. Oh, in the wiki. The Infopedia. Oh, there we go. 358. All right. So we're not getting a new government for a little bit. So we're going to stay feudal monarchy for a while. So... 
let's get the round table for now to generate a bunch of diplomacy XP because we can. And I might get the other power to raise the population. Okay, I really need this guy to move. I guess I can go out to sea. I'm just worried about barbarian units eating another envoy. That's okay. They're just bureaucrats. We don't care about them, right? No aquatic goody huts over here? That's too bad. York. We're doing fine now. I think we'll just grab the tech buildings. Are there mermaid sibs in this game? Makes me think of Alpha Centauri with the aquatic uh, people. No. All right, yeah. You can you can be in Dallas here. I'll deploy the balloon for extra vision. Sure, why not? All right, deploy to sea. Try not to get booped. We have a settler sitting here. How long have you been here? Oh, we might have gotten one for free with one of our techs. I think it's time to drop a city down here. It'll be it'll be a little frosty, but it'll be fine. There aren't a lot of really valid gaps anymore. Actually, I kind of like the idea of putting a city right here. You know what? I'm doing that. It'll look cool. At this point, we're just putting it down to prevent barbarians from spawning those areas. I'm not expecting that vassal to grow enough to be important. Okay, colonies. This is what gave us the free settler right over here. This also gives us the colony variant improvement, which does still take engineering XP. Okay. All right, that is four techs. Let's start the Age of Aether. That'll be that'll be how we conclude the stream today. It'll be perfect. And then tomorrow, we're going to try to see if we can speed through and finish the game. That's going to be the plan tomorrow. Note that the Saturday live stream does start at noon Eastern time, as opposed to 2 p.m. The weekly streams are at 2. Um, the Saturday ones start at noon and go up to, uh, it's going to be four hours long. Okay, you continue moving. Yeah, we have all these improvement points. Harduke is currently capped, which is fine, although probably could be working more tiles. I mean, if nothing else, I'm going to fishing boat these tiles. It fills your food need. Um, you can't really do much in the way of tech. I even let... No, that's... I don't think I can de deploy an envoy here, because we can't do it from sea. Alright, it's okay. There's more cities. Ooh. Can you do... Oh, you can do goody huts? Nice. Oh, I think you still had move left. Yeah. Let's explore north. So the first public library you build during the Age of Enlightenment gives you 20 extra specialists. Yeah, we could have rushed the culture. We really should have, because we're going to want more towns anyway. Um, do we slap it down in Parduk? I mean, it needs it for the growth. And well, we could settle over there, or I could outpost over there. But I think I'm just going to go for Parduk, plop down a town right here. Also, tomorrow's stream is last stream before EU goes to summertime. Ah, yes. We'll be back with our normal gap. You're not making it easy for me to land an envoy next to these guys. So we've got the underwater goody huts over here. So let's kill this dude along the way. He's actually sitting on one. So perfect. That though. Exploration XP for the scholars. Yes, although ooh, we can actually do 
This upgrades the great library. This gives me a power that I can use. Exploration domain power, scientific process, progress. I think I think this one is spend exploration XP to do this. So this will be more worthwhile as a finisher. Right, and if we got foreign manuscripts, I don't know how we get foreign manuscripts. Maybe it's one of the foreign imports we'll be able to do later on. Anyway, I think we'll go and do this. And yeah, having done that, we can now do this legacy one, which we're going to do for more XP and then the social fabric, because we may as well. I wasn't sure if I was going to lock it right away. I couldn't remember how many of these we need to do to get rid of the lock, but all good. And I can still po poop out a pioneer over here and like just be really annoying. We could poop out a pioneer right here and then build an outpost and claim this stuff. Just to be a jerk. If you're right up to our up to date on Paradox's game called uh, Project Caesar, the game the game that is totally totally not going to be EU5 at all. Yeah, I'm hyped. I'm hyped. And again, they might not actually call it EU5. They might give it a, you know, I could see something like Terra Universalis or something like that, just to get away from the Eurocentrism of it. But yeah, I'm so excited because I mean it's it seems pretty clear that it's EU5, and I love European Universalis 4 so much. I haven't played it in forever, but it's still my, the Paradox game I played the most. So, okay, specialist points. Let's talk about this. So this button over here is now split between improvement points and specialist points. Some of the improvements are now built using specialists, like these coffee houses over here, which convert tea into analytics. Tier, tier coffee. This sounds pretty good. We've got a few places with tea and coffee. I think Glasgow had some. They're going to be a great pick. Um, but I, I did find previously that I, I seem to end up with a lot more specialist points than I really need. So I don't know if we're going to need to prioritize that. And some foreign import slots over here. I mean, foreign import slots currently are giving us, letting us exchange money per turn for culture per turn. We don't really need the culture either. Although if we were going to be able to set um, uh, towns, we do. But I guess I should probably Academy of Science first. Although weirdly, this doesn't give me knowledge. This just gives me a shit ton of specialists. All right, shopping center. And then we might want the keeps and stuff just for some passive defense, although it hasn't been an issue. Oh, we can get a great hall. Hold on, we're gonna build this. It's one per nation. It'll give us a bunch more diplomacy XP. <laughs> Victoria 5, we're skipping right to it. Yeah. That's the new meme, Victoria 5 win. I like how you can upgrade units and then still attack afterwards. All right, you're fully healed. This will come down here. Oh, goody huts! Nom 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 nom. Um, I'm still looking for the exploration XP. We are still gonna finish most of the scholar stuff, so why not? Right. You know what? Just to be able to take advantage of extra movement, we'll do that now. So you are going to join up over here. And so Spain, I would like to open an embassy with you, please. Which reminds me, needed a cooldown. Persia, we can do a knowledge treaty. Treaties generate resources for both nations. Both nations' incomes are combined, average, and a portion of that value is generated for each nation. Okay, so this is way more <laughs> beneficial for my opponents than me. Because I'm, I should be generating much more knowledge than they are. So this is going to be worth tons more for them than it is for me. But it's still something. And you know what? It'll still accelerate our game. Sure. Let's get knowledge treaties with everyone. We're going to be nice guys now. Any reports of us being horrific warmongers? Well, it died with the people that we killed at the time. So we don't have to worry about that. Um, I guess I'll still just go for the XP to convert it into more social fabric stuff, I guess. Even though we're doing fine on the military one. University, please. Your religion stuff's fine. I don't know, we might get the treasury just for some wealth. We'll throw that in. Why not? I suppose genocide is one way to keep things under, sweep things under the rug. Yeah. No one can accuse me of anything if they're all dead. Spain. Oh, you're cruising for a bruising, mister. What the heck? 
can't believe you would say no to me. We do have enough government XP. We could go and just absorb another, uh, another vassal. Oh, Alexandra's big, but it's kind of boxed in. Oh, well, it does have all this territory. Maybe. Actually, I actually like the idea of maybe picking up Megara. It doesn't... Well, we can stick another town in here, I suppose. But it might be a little bit region limited. Pittsburgh is awkward. Dallas is a possibility. We town over... And it's a little crowded. We have to absorb some outposts. Campy, no. Maybe Seattle. Get town here and then maybe chain a little bit more. Unless we pick up like Philadelphia, one of these new guys. Okay, Seattle's a possibility. This could also work because we could develop our towns going northwards. What do you think? New Seattle? I think this is on fire too. Yeah. So that could be repaired if we go and integrate you. All right, let's do it. Hello, Seattle. So I can fix this farm for you. I'll reset all your tiles. I think you're going to be a big farming place. Do that and that. Uh, I got tons of money, 12 grand. Let's go and rush a few things. First of all, civil engineer to boost your production rate. Done. Um, you're going to need some housing. You don't need the waterworks yet. Did you a hoose? There we go. Capping that out. And seems like I should probably build you a sawmill. And we might replace it with paper later on, but for now, we'll definitely appreciate the production. Uh, oh, which one of these gives us a... Any of these give us a region level? Because it can't grow as is. No, we haven't actually built any public schools yet. We don't need it yet. Oh, the waterworks, of course. There you go. Now your population cap is up. Excellent. And then after that, I don't know what you build. Um, anyway, we'll get you a page parlor because everyone deserves that. All right. You're here. You've got troops sitting in Seattle, which is fine. Maybe I'll just send some extra units out over there for whatever that will be. Oop. Now we'll take the wealth. So, you've got fishing boats on those. We're actually going to get one on this fish. I'm going to remove this fishing boat, because I'd probably rather have a harbor. You have an excess of fishing boats that we probably don't need. But I guess it doesn't make sense to go and tear them all out right now. Anything else you could convert here? No, because we don't have anything that can process the tuna. We could build either a press to make cooking oil, or a weaver to make cloth here. Now, the textile, the weaver just leads to money. Is it better to build the press for more food and wealth? I mean, the food here is fine. Maybe I don't have to worry about Seattle right now. Although, again, we're... I'm just going to hit next, and we're going to be capped on points again. Next turn, I might be able to rush the culture for a town, though. We'll see. Uh, that's a good question. I think you can go higher than level 2 for the towns, um, but I haven't done it yet. And the problem is I just never have enough exp um, engineering XP. Oh, they've got a merchant over here. It's a different color, so it might be it might be a visiting merchant. Yeah, from Brazil. That can generate money for you. Okay. Tons of goody stuff. Yeah, we'll still take the exploration. And I guess we'll take the diplomacy this time. And you're in my way. So I'll boop you. At least level three we need a tech for. We do have a lot of engineering XP all of a sudden. Nico is capped. It needs an extra town. We never even leveled up this one here. I think I'm going to start with that. I'm going to expand Portland. And then, so Coastal doesn't do anything, obviously. Mining gives a plus one. 
Lumber is a zero. Farming is a zero. I guess you're going to be mining town. It still boosted your wealth and still gave us a region level. Nico, so your population can increase again. So that's going to be good. Nico's actually a little low on food and definitely does need another town just to like expand its borders a little bit more. Um, you can also get some forestry. But I think the thing to do here, let's check your raw resources. You do have the extra meat. But I'm kind of thinking I'm going to set up a plowed farm here. Uh, and then over here, turn that into flour. And then, yeah, rather than the meat, we're going to build that into a kitchen, which... No, sorry, not a kitchen, a bakery. We don't have enough flour to completely fill the bakery, but it's going to do a lot. We need, yeah, we need two more flour, which means we actually need two more wheat as well. What I'm tempted to do... I don't know, keep you maybe. I can move this house to a different tile. Or a clear cut the forest, but... I think I might keep the forest. Yeah, I'm gonna drop a town there, but I need culture for it. You need the housing currently. Okay, maybe I won't mess with you right now. We spent down our points, so that's okay. We'll be back to Nico to make some work. And I love this constant refactoring of our towns. I, I appreciate that part of the game. It's my vibe. Maybe it's not for everyone, but it's my vibe. Oh, hey, we got an innovation, masonry. Our brickworks is renowned for its sturdiness and elegance. We should invest in making our buildings even more beautiful. Free art XP from Bricks Good. We are producing a decent amount. I mean, there's no reason not to do this. We don't need the money. So I should have done it before and after. But we're making more arts XP now. 31 per turn. Assuming this is calculating. It might be part of the region's input. Um, we could be using cultural exports to quick boost our prosperity in some of these places. Mostly the new places over here that don't have a merchant yet. But I'll probably just save it for the community. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> on town and change specialization on blue, what kind of improvement benefits from? Yeah, no, I, I, I knew that, but it was just... Because what I can do, if I can find a level 2 town again, uh, we've got one in New York. Right, if I go over here, it's like I can do that and I can mouse over and see what it's doing for each one. And then be like, okay, this does farming. Okay, then I have to look at the map. Which one of these is farming? Or I can just click on each one and look over here to see how many adjacencies it got. And I'm lazy. There. You freaking barbarian son of a bitch. Don't you know your time is completely over? You are irrelevant. What are you doing ripping up my freaking terrain? You absolute asshat. Ugh. We gotta figure out a, a good way to stop barbarians from continuously spawning later on. I mean, mostly it's about expanding this area. There's actually a goody hut left over there. Oh, there's a one here. Thank you, exploration. Quill getting salty. A little bit. A little bit. Alright, let's just uh let's just fill these in. It went and burned my shit down. I think there was just a knock at the door. I'll be right back. No sushi yet, I just imagined it. We're gonna go on, we're just gonna go into we do the Age of Aether and then we'll wrap it up for today. We got another turn or two. Again, we're so dominant in this game. 10 pounds of salmiaki. Hey, Age of Aether achievement. 
We get a new filter effect on the screen. All right, let's get Steam Bungie. Aether is revealed on mountains. Oh, something to do with mountains now. Harvest it to power your improvements. All remaining barbarian and barbarian camps have been disbanded. Hey, I don't think that's specific to the Age of Aether. I think it's just like this age at this point, or maybe it's specific to the Age of Aether. I don't know. All regional unrest has been refreshed to zero at the start of the Age of Aether. Generate power to power modern buildings and improvements. Again, that's not specific to Aether. Assemble an air force to defend your regions. Oh, baby, we're going to get war balloons. Aether appears across the world. New system unlocked. Automata improvements. Air Force now available. All right. Yeah, that's real new. Have not seen this before. Aether is unique and energetic good available in some mountain tiles. It can help meet the power needs of your regions. Aether can also be processed by two different improvements available in the Age of Aether. The Secret Laboratory, which generates knowledge, and the Aether Refinery, which can use Aether to supply even more power to your regions. Aether's usefulness is undeniable, though its benefits are largely limited to this age. Okay. So let's take a look at these techs here. So our next age will be the age of rocketry. After that is the, is it the atomic age, then the information age? I don't remember how it goes, something like that. Okay, we get communications, rail, urbanization, lighter than air, so that's definitely unique to this age. Mad science, automata, exotic metallurgy, and exotic power. I think communications is a standard tech. It's quite nice because it does give you the research institute, although this does have power drain. So very much like how education works in the previous age where you build buildings that ha produce a need for it. So education need wasn't coming from our population number. It was coming from buildings that consume it. Here's the same thing. We're going to create buildings that require power like the research institute. Um, telegraph office consumes power to make culture. A publishing house eats power to convert to paper into two books, which is very nice, and has extra worker slots. So much more tile efficient and more worker efficient, just generally really, really strong. Rail container yard gives you export slots and a bunch of free production. It also just gives us some innovation for researching it. Urbanization, I believe is standard as well. Yeah, sewers, crap tons of sanitation. This is a building. So this is an improvement over our aqueduct into waterworks into sewers now. Grocery store. So this is a food storage building. This is the, the upgrade from, I can't remember what the level one is. Level one gives you like three food. Level two is I think the granary, which gives you 15. Increase the tax, the max town size your regions can support. So higher level. Food stockpile or food reserves, yeah. Into granary, into this. Okay, lighter than air. We get airships, 75 attack, 45 defense. <laughs> air attack range five. So I guess we get a bombard on this. The upkeep is quite high, but Death Machine, Steam Fighter, 62 attack, 48 defense, very tough, good against aircrafts. Does the air balloon have a bonus? It has bonus against unit type defensive, so walls and towers and stuff like that, plus also naval ships. Air Taxi, so it's a building, unrest suppression, luxury. Sky Hotel, luxury and housing, okay. It's a building that gives us housing as opposed to an improvement. Cloud Estate is an improvement, gives us 25 housing, two luxury, and converts one Aether to one Delicacy. Skyborn luxury housing for the wealthy and adventurous. And it also gives a Steam Fighter immediately when we research it. Mad Science! The Nautilus unit. Combat modifier times three defense when alone, an ingenious steam-powered submarine with stealth capabilities. Okay, the stealth part explains it. All right. Secret Laboratory, one power drain, converts one Aether to two analytics, which is uh, knowledge. Power Station converts coal to energy and generates power by itself as well. Aether Refinery converts Aether to energy. So I guess Aether just having it gives you power, but this, this goes from one Aether, which is four power, to two energy, which is five power each. So you go from four to 10 total. It costs specialists to plop down. Under Automata, we've got the Automata Sawmill. So it consumes power, but gives you more logs. So right now, I think our sawmill, I guess our sawmills are giving us still one log each, right? I think so. So this is now giving us two. Oh, no, sorry. This is the sawmill. This is not the forestry. 
Okay, this converts two logs to lumbers and one aether to lumber as well, if you want. Interesting. Automata textile mill. Okay, better textile mill. Also does let you convert aether stuff. Um, but the paper factory. Automata plantation. Okay, so it's not entirely clear here, and I ran into this before um, with some of these improvements, but they are better. I think they give you, I think they might give you an extra resource, like if you plop it down on a on a flax, maybe you get two flax or something. I don't know, you don't get a proper breakdown of it for some reason uh, over there, which is kind of frustrating, but it is it is a much better one, whatever it does. Um, automata assembly line. Okay, so this is the upgrade of the city works. So our or the building we build that gives us production and stuff is a better version of that, although it does consume power. Automata farm converts aether to wheat. Crazy. Rare earth mine. So we need these to build computers later. Steel furnace converts three copper or iron to three steel. So not ingots, but steel now, which I think are, are better, or at least opens up a different production chain. I think normally in this era, there's a tech that's just called steel. I think it's been renamed here. Reveals rare earth metals, or maybe not. Maybe no, this is something else. Um, rare earth materials are something in the base game. It's not exclusive to the Age of Aether. Steam trawlers for better fishing gathering. A land ship, a ridiculously massive armored vehicle. Love it. And a dreadnought. Colossal armor plated and steam powered warship. And then finally, we get exotic power. Oil. Oops. Maybe click on that. An oil well, as well as revealing petroleum, which sounds pretty useful. All automata improved who no longer have a work line. They don't need to be worked. Oh! They don't need people, the automata ones. That's so interesting. So in terms of what to research first, I have no idea. No idea what to look for first. Robots all the way. I mean, I kind of want to play with them and see what happens. So we'll probably queue up the automata. We will, there's all the aether, look at that. Feels like we're playing uh, Age of Wonders all of a sudden. Like weird magic -y shit in the mountains. Now the question is, do any of my current regions have mountain tiles in their borders? Quite close here with New York. Close with Nico. I mean, they're very expensive to expand into. If they're not. I suspect we're mostly... I wonder if we're mostly going to be using outposts for that? Okay. We do have one mountain that is within the border of Belfast. So I can build an Aether Harvester here. If worked, it will generate two Aether. And it's got an extra worker slot. It takes um, specialist thing. I'm going to put a reminder on there. But yeah, we may have to uh, up our specialist generation, which I haven't needed really before. Hey, our roads are paved. How cool is that? Also, a lot more improvements I can be doing around Belfast, as it turns out. So I should probably look into this. Um, right now, before we end, I will rush that culture because I don't want to forget. Was it Nico where I was like, I really want another city? Another town? I mean, all of them want something. Seattle doesn't even have one yet. And Pardue keeps growing like crazy. Heck, New York is probably... Oh no, it's cap is 35. I think I want it around Nico. I think I'm wrong. Maybe I was just thinking it because it was capped and then I leveled up Portland. I mean, I could put it here and it would be adjacent to either two lumber things or two mining things. Either specialization will work perfectly fine. I don't know. Maybe we'll wait until next time to figure this out. Mm -hmm. And then we've also got... I guess we haven't unlocked any new buildings yet. Military base might be new. Sometimes you get you do get some things that unlock automatically the age even before you tech. I love how we still just got the level one meeting hall because I keep skipping over all the diplomacy techs because like, why would I ever want to be diplomatic? We need the luxury. We don't need to generate education. We're Money fine there. Essentia. Money for essential. Oh, the, let's build the Academy of Science. It's only one per nation and generates some specialist for us. 
first time chatter. Thanks to you I learned I'm not great at Civ Sims, but RimWorld, Slay the Spire and Frostpunk are now some of my favorite games. Thank you for all of the varieties of playthroughs over 8 years. Well, thank you very much, uh, Ten. I hope that wasn't a mistake and you, didn't, you accidentally didn't put your username in there. Uh, but that's, thank you very much for the support, and those are certainly great picks. Um, I, I've often said, I think at this point, if I had to pick one game to be stuck on a, you know, deserted island with, it might be RimWorld. Pretty strong. I'm really looking forward to Anomaly. Really looking forward to it. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up the stream here because i got to save my voice for tomorrow. Again, tomorrow we start at 12 noon Eastern time and we go on for hopefully four hours. I'm going to camp out by the front door and wait for my lovely, lovely sushi to show up. Thank you very much, Brother Beard, for that. And I'm going to see you tomorrow for what is hopefully going to be conclusion to this. Hopefully we can lay through fast enough to finish tomorrow. That's, that's fingers crossed. We'll see. Bye, everyone.